Hello everybody, my name is Zeus and I am the manager of Manchester City again. So that could only mean one thing, we've got a striker to try and beat in Erling Haaland? Question mark? Who knows this time around? But this time around we have spent a fair amount more than we have done before. The most I think we spent is about 37 grand on Andy Carroll. But man, this time we spent 3.5 million pounds on a striker whose name I'm probably going to mispronounce. But we're going to give it a go anyway, because why not? It's Seku Koita? Seku Koita, probably. And he looks decent, to be fair. I've used him in my uh, championship teams coming up into the Premiership. You know, those sort of teams. The high-end championship, low-end Premiership teams. He's scored a fair amount of goals as an advanced forward. But as we know with this format, he's not going to be playing as an advanced forward. He's going to be playing in a position that I do not think suits him well. But we'll see, we will see, because we're putting him as the target forward on support on our team, which is, this is the best 11 apparently. Um, but yeah, holy crap, it's going to be an interesting season, because we are next against Barnsley and Friendly. Uh, but we are against Arsenal in the Community Shield, then our first match is Bournemouth, going to the end of the season, where our last match is against Brentford. So... That is the entire situation. Of course, our tactic is a 4-2-3-1 with all the positions exactly the same, except that everyone is kind of in position. All right, this is basically what the best level would look like, just with a striker removed and put Sergio Co uh, Seiku Koita in as the left or right hand side striker, target forward on support. So can 3.5 million pounds <laughs> get more than 10 goals? Because he's also, I think, a, a lot, like more than, 12 times less expensive than Haaland. Haaland costs Man City 53, 51 million, 3.1 million plus, uh, yeah, I guess, but it's just, man, it's, if this guy was like 5.3 million, it'd be 10 times less, but it's not, it's like 12 or something times less than Haaland. But yeah, we'll see. Can Seiko Koita beat Erling Haaland? Who knows? We'll find out together, because I'm going to go on holiday, simulate the rest of the season, probably get fired, because that's, that seems to be a running theme, except for when we did it with um, Connor Wickham, because apparently he's quite okay. But yeah, just as a reminder, here is what the table looks like. And I say table, because that's why I called it Google Sheets. It's not as Google... Well, it's called it Google Docs. It's not as Google Sheets. Look at those numbers. That table looks amazing. Um, but yeah, holy crap. Can Seiku Koita beat Erling Haaland? Let's find out together and simulate the rest of the season. For me, that'll take a few hours, so I'm probably going to grab some dinner. Uh, for you, it'll take a few seconds. Goodbye for now, I guess. We'll be back shortly. And we're back. Welcome back to the Man City team. Man, what a season. We have a bit of a problem, though. We might have to redo every one that we've done so far, but as advanced forwards, because I think we have a slight problem. But we'll get to that in a second. But as you can see, in the Premier League, we finished second, we haven't been fired, and if we go home, we can see Erling Haaland has got 51 goals. <laughs> what a second by two points. Man, how, how on earth do you score 50, 51, 51 goals even, sorry. Man, I don't even know. But how many goals did Seiko Koita get? Well, this is where we have the problem. Although he has improved, he's now two and a half star ability and now worth 9.8 million. So he's definitely gone up in value, but has he scored more than everyone else? No, he scored 10 in 31, so I think he got injured at some point. But 6 assists has got a good rating of 7.17. This is the thing, everyone so far has scored 10 as a target forward, so what I might do is I might reload all the saves that I have with Seka Koita, Connor Wickham, and Andy Carroll, put them all at the same role as Erling Haaland as the advance forward on, on that both of advanced forwards up front and then see how many goals they get but as it currently stands here is the table now i think i'm gonna put koita up the top uh 7.16 average rating is technically better than the 7.07 .07 or 06 whatever it was for andy carroll and then yeah if you disagree put it in the comments i guess but technically 31 games so it must have got injured at some point Definitely worth a lot more than the three million pounds we bought him for. We can sell him. Wow, he has improved quite a fair bit in certain areas. Uh, his acceleration has gone up, and his pace, man, fair enough. Um, but yeah, 9.8 to 13 million. We bought him for three, so 
3 million pounds, 3.5 million. But yeah, hope you have. But yep, I hope you enjoyed. We're gonna run. I'm gonna run all these experiments again as we advance forward. In the next video we try, the pair will be on the advanced forward roll, the same as Erling Haaland, and we will also redo all the other strikers, put their stats in as the advanced forward, and then see who does better. But yeah, I will not no longer after this video do target forward on support, we'll do advanced forward on attack and see if that makes a difference. But that's the next video for you. I don't know who I'm going to do next. I have no idea. Uh, if you have any suggestions, leave it in the comments. Uh, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have enjoyed it, I don't know, come back again next time. We'll do advanced forward on attack and another striker. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, bye for now.